Hey guys, it's Derek here. Today's gonna be our very last haul for 2022. There are a few things in here that I'm very excited to open up and some other stuff that I actually have no clue what it is. So yeah, let's um, let's get into it. Starting us off, I'm going to go with this guy over here. Now I'm adding another Nandroid to the collection. This is the Primal Demon Diablo, number 1713. Now I got this one locally and uh, yeah, it was kind of expensive because this was about $105. Well, before the Boxing Day sale, I actually had to go into the store to get something. So it kind of made sense. I wasn't shopping for myself. I was getting other stuff, but hey, this was on my list and I have some of the other stuff pre-ordered or ordered maybe. So yeah, overall looks pretty good. There is the Rimuru that it can accompany, which looks nice and a very cutesy one of him in slime form. But we do get his wings as well. Looks really cool. So let's see what we got. We got our boy here with his nice dark eyes. Nice little strip down for the hair that's in red. I'd say overall, you know, it's Nendoroid quality. Good smile always delivers when it comes to Nendoroids. I don't think I've actually gotten a bad Nendoroid from them in a very, very long time. So we got his default face, which looks very, very smug. And we have, of course, a smiling face and a kind of upset face for some reason. Not sure why he's upset. On the back, his demon wings do move and you can remove them because they're just on a little peg. So that's very neat in case you want to make him a little less demonic. And in terms of accessories, we do get a few. Let's start off with the little Rimuru that we get. Now this is super cute. It's in this little slime form of him and he has a little sweat drop because he's nervous for some reason. We also get a hand of him grabbing his tie. Don't know why you would need that. Is there a, is there a reason you'd... Oh, can you remove it? Oh. I think you can. Oh yes, you can. His tie on here looks like it is removable. So you can put the hand on here that has him removing it because he's about to get down to business. Oh, that's kind of neat. We also get another two separate hands, which are very, very simple. They're just kind of bent ones. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on with him. In hindsight, spending 105 Canadian was not the right move. But like I said, I did get a discount because I bought other stuff. So this was about 80-ish before tax. Yeah, I kind of got fleeced. All right, I'm just gonna plop them up like that. Can you guys see them? Probably not. <laughs> the next figure we have in this unboxing or this haul is number 1853, Comey from Comey Can't Communicate. Now I've been waiting for this one for a very long time and I got this one off of AmiAmi. I ended up piggybacking off of Kyle's order so I can't really give you 100% accurate shipping information there but I got it for whatever it had on AmiAmi. I don't remember at this point, but this figure though, looks like has a lot more stuff. Have you guys watched Comey Can't Communicate yet? She's my favorite character in the, I guess the archetype of quiet, shy girl, Comey. There's also Aharin-san and I'm not sure. I don't even remember if I ordered that one. I don't think I did. There's actually not too much wrapping on her to protect her, which is a little bit surprising. Usually they have a little bit more than this. You still get her very angular hair in the very front, which looks nice. Very timid looking hands in a pose that we know all too well. And yeah, overall, it's just, it's pretty solid. Not too much going on here. The accessories are a little fun though. Let's see, we get a pair of cat ears and also some other spare bits. Let me just kind of remove them real quick. I am working on another camera angle. We will try to get that for 2023. Fingers crossed, you know, because I do think that we are missing a little bit here. In terms of accessories, you do get her lovely cat ears. They are a little bit of that little plastic feel. So you wedge it right in between and it just fits that way. I'm not a huge fan of that. Well, that's a little bit nice though. They did label one of them with an R. So you do know which one goes on the right side of her head. And you can kind of plop the other one in there as well. You do get another spare pair of hands, clenched fists right here with some bit of open hands. And we also get her little school bag and her note sheet where she writes down what she wants to say because she's too afraid to say it to your face. This is cute. If I could read Japanese, I would tell you what this means. We also get her really funky doughy eyes <laughs> that has basically no nose or anything else. This is super, super cute. And we also get a blushed hang face as well. This is really awesome. And I can't wait to display her with the rest of my Nendoroids. You will end up seeing them in the room tour at some point. I'm still working out some things for the room tour. So stay tuned for that. I know everyone's been asking for that one. And realistically i don't think i'd be able to get it out before the end of the year 
so it'll be a 2023 thing, like maybe January. Moving on to the next package. This one here is a DHL one. I'm pretty sure I know what this is because I got an email from our friends over at EpoMaker saying they sent out another gift, but they didn't tell me exactly what it was. Judging by the size, it's something small. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys haven't watched the previous video about that keyboard, I'll leave it up there. Go watch it after this video and show it some love. It's nice and bubble wrap though. Oh, that's cute. What is this? I, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, this is, it's from the Shanzu Museum. It's a table lamp. What? What? <laughs> okay, was not expecting this. Might as well just open it up and see what's up. It says Merry Christmas on it. Thank you for sending over this Christmas gift. It arrived a few days after Christmas, but you know, all is good. Wishing you a wonderful festive season and happiest, no, the happiest new year. And we got a little card here. Ooh, with a very cool. It's shiny. It is a table lamp. It's a very tiny table lamp. I'll open it up with you guys. I have no clue what this really is, so. Oh. Anything else in here? Oh, there is a USB here and what kind of looks like a lunchbox. Oh, it lights up. Oh, it's kind of cool. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's made out of like wood, like balsa wood or whatever. Kind of like the wood you can kind of do crafts and everything with. There is a little light button on top or a power. <laughs> There's a little power button on top so you can turn on and off. That's kind of neat. I guess you can use it as like a background for something. That's kind of cool. Wasn't expecting it, but thanks. <laughs> as for the last thing here today, I have an inkling of what it could be, but I'm not entirely sure if this is actually what it is. So I won't say what I think it is yet until I open it. This package here, it could be a number of things, really. I don't know, I don't know. This is actually like a legit mystery box at this point. Also, you would think that after my last haul, I would be smarter about things and not putting Endroids up there, but we're gonna take the risk and see if uh, she gets knocked over. How was the holiday season for all of you guys? Did you have fun? Did you have a good dinner and everything? I spent it with family and Oh, great heavens! But yeah, I spent Christmas with family. We ate a lovely turkey dinner. Very, very good. If you guys aren't following me on IG, I do post a lot on IG. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, it might be. Oh my God. All right. Let's see what it is. This might be my first Mythios figure. I kind of recognize what the box looks like on the outside. All right, I ordered this off of Amazon Japan. And when you pre-order off of there, they kind of handle all your duties and everything for import. So that's why they didn't contact me. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Oh, I'm super hyped about this now. Corner protectors. There's uh, six of those. Eight of those, I can count. Ooh. Well, would you look at that? It says, Fairy Tale Another Princess Rose. But I believe this is like their Sleeping Beauty one. Because she is in a basket. How do I open it? Oh, it's like this. Oh, it's beautiful. This is like a piece of art. <laughs> I actually thought this was from Nin, Nin Game originally based off of what the box looked like. I honestly, I went through every single pre-order that I could think of to see what it was and I nothing came up. Oh. Let's see, we get a little card. Uh, it's all in Chinese. And yeah, you can contact them with the QR code and whatnot. But for those who don't know, Maithos is a Chinese company. If I remember correctly, this was available for pre-order on other sites. Oh, I'm sorry. It was pre-orderable on other sites like AmiAmi and whatnot, but the pre-orders just sold through on those. The box is really nice. Kind of gives it a altar vibe. I like it. Although I'm a little bit worried now because at the very bottom here, there is, there is uh, some broken plastic, but let's hope it's not a part of the figure. Oh, I see. The plastic blister kind of cracked in shipping a little bit, so that's not great. So ah. let's just hope that there's nothing wrong with the figure itself. This is a one piece construction from what it looks like. She is in a basket. I'm not gonna lift it by the handle because knowing me, I'd probably break it. Let's just take it out. Is that it? 
Let's take a look. Let's examine. This is beautiful. She looks really, really good. The paint application on here is wonderful. Skin complexion looks great. And just all the little kind of satin that's like going on throughout her outfit. It's pretty solid. The hair is nice and flowy, which I appreciate. The little dangly bits for the, the vines and the flowers. This is beautiful. I will say it could use a little bit more pre-shading in some areas, but this is really nice. They gave us an entire basket to house our beautiful figure. This is really, really cool. Then there's also some animals on the side. We got a little squirrel and a pair of bunnies. Oh, this is so nice. But yeah, there out. there's a ton of different little details here. It's incredibly fragile feeling, but I'm surprised it held up in shipping. She has a rose in her hand here. On the bottom, there is a support beam that does hold it all together on the inside. And well, I guess they're going with this title here. She's another princess rose. We get a little plaque here that kind of signifies that this is a statue or a piece of art. This is lovely. I think the next one I would have to get would have to be the Cheshire Cat, but Mythos figures or My Ethos figures, they're amazing. They look great. They're priced fairly reasonably currently, and hopefully I'll be able to collect a few more before the price jumps up. But this is so nice. Wait, how much did I pay for this? Let me double check. So this apparently only costs about 27,000 yen, which for what I've gotten is amazing. Of course, it's their own IP, so maybe they didn't have to pay any licensing or anything, but this is really good bang for your buck. If I got this earlier, maybe I would have considered this maybe one of the figures of the year, but this is definitely very, very beautiful. I definitely have to put it up there. It's really, really nice. I'm 100% getting more Mythos figures. Cheshire Cat is in my radar or on my radar, but any of the new stuff I'll most likely pick up. This was super unexpected, but I'm really glad I was able to share this with everyone. That's pretty much our 2022 in the books. That is it. The last haul for this year, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider giving this a big old like and let me know in the comment section down below how your holidays went or any new recent pickup. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love interacting with everyone. 2023, I have a ton of massive plans and I still have the room tour video that I will, I will get done. Just you wait. My name is Derek and I will see you then. Bye for now.